Good afternoon, friends. I am very glad to see you all and very happy to be here. To be honest, I didn't know that such an interesting conference was taking place. I literally found out about its holding spontaneously from my friend and also spontaneously decided to participate and share information about the project that I am, so to speak, a fan of. Because the idea excites me about creating a free implementation of a proprietary product that was used by up to 90% of the users on the planet. A little bit about myself. I am an active fan of the idea uh, of free software. Many of you, or at least someone, has read my article on Harbor. Again, it was most likely an article about React OS. My virtual co-reporter, who unfortunately could not attend, is Alexei Bragin. He is currently a lecturer at Bauman Moscow State Technical University. Formerly, he is still the head coordinator of the React OS project, which I will now tell you about. I have been a teacher at the Top Computer Academy for three years now. We teach children basic computer literacy, programming, 3D modeling, and everything else. And I am immersed in teaching children and know from my experience what problems can arise with children when teaching computer technologies. The main problem in general, if we want to teach children about computers, or for example, let these be students who are, so to speak, in the humanities, is that firstly, they often do not distinguish well between hardware and software. They think that a computer is some kind of magical box where everything works immediately. You turn on the screen and the desktop appears and so on. In other words, they have almost no understanding of what an operating system is, which is the basic software that brings this box with a processor and electrical components to life. Even when you try to explain it to them, they struggle to understand without a hands-on demonstration. The second problem is methodological support. To demonstrate an operating system, good methodological support is necessary. In this case, if we use Windows, it is currently striving to become a cactus. Firstly, it is a proprietary operating system. And secondly, there is sanction pressure. It is becoming increasingly difficult to acquire it legally, update it, and so on. At some point, it may become completely impossible to do so, which, strangely enough, the project has been warning about for decades. And now it has happened. If we take a Linux-based operating system as a methodological tool, the entry threshold is high. For children who are used to intuitively using a graphical interface, it is difficult for them to adapt to the need to use the console and certain commands. They are not prepared for the fact that the system may not work on their computer right away and that something will need to be fixed. In this regard, we believe that the React OS operating system could be an ideal teaching tool for teaching the fundamentals of operating systems. What is React OS? It is an open source operating system based on the Windows NT architecture designed to use the same drivers, programs, and user experience that have already been created for Windows. React OS itself was written from scratch, meaning it is not based on the Linux or BSD kernels. It is a custom kernel that functions as closely as possible to Windows. The project is international, just like Linux, and I hope this does not scare anyone. But at the same time, it is completely independent. It has no major sponsor or company that could manage its development for external commercial purposes. The project is primarily funded through donations from enthusiasts, meaning that private individuals contribute small amounts. There is no pressure on the project. Fortunately, political squabbles have not yet reached the project. The project actively collaborates with other open source projects and borrows libraries from them. The largest borrowing for graphical libraries, uh, referring to the user interface and the implementation of WinAPI, is the Vine project, which is well known to all of you. The user area is built on it. Here is the screenshot of the desktop with the application manager open. This means there is a dedicated package manager that includes programs that are more or less functional, tested, and can be easily downloaded directly from the internet. Typically, they are either open source or freeware. This means that there are currently no paid programs in this store and none are planned. The system requirements are very low, meaning that ReactOS can run on super old computers and it will work quite smoothly. There is no need to train users on how to use it because the basic reflexes, icons, and the start button are already ingrained in people's subconscious. Such low system requirements make this system ideal for running it in a virtual machine. The use of a virtual machine, for example, VirtualBox, allows a child to demonstrate hands-on that this is the source code, we compile it with this command, and you get an operating system image, we insert it into VirtualBox. Click through the prompts next, 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 and now you have a fully installed operating system. You see that there was nothing in the virtual machine, and now you have an operating system. Moreover, you can immediately download some applications and experiment with them. And if you already have some programming skills, you can modify the build, for example, the functionality of a certain driver, compile it right away, 
and test it again. Since building React OS from source takes about 20 minutes on modern computers, React OS is not just a technology but also an infrastructure. That is, we have a version control system on Git and GitHub, a bug tracking system, and an integrated website with its own community where people, fans, and developers can communicate directly on our site. Most importantly, we have developed a course of lectures that has been taught for over 10 years in the department of IU9 on operating systems by Alexi Bregan. It consists of a theoretical module that abstracts operating systems and a practical module where the same tasks are performed on both NetBSD and React OS. That is actually indeed the Windows NT architecture is used and Unix is considered. Well, here it is explained in more detail. There are identical lab assignments that the student can choose to complete on one of two operating systems, namely NetBSD and React OS. And as a rule, most students choose React OS because they find it more understandable to learn, so to speak. In other words, they intuitively select it and complete their lab work on it. That is, they start by installing and configuring the build environment, then build their own operating system, and then make some basic changes. For example, make it so that a certain driver outputs a message to the debug console, for instance, or change the interface settings to have different labels, for example. For the first video course, Alexi Bragan made a spontaneous decision not just to create it for students of his specialty, but to upload it directly to YouTube. This means he recorded these presentations in a live format. There were problems, meaning the sound quality was not always good. But even in such an imperfect execution, the course immediately garnered tens of thousands of views. That is, at the same time, students from Bauman Moscow State Technical University and anyone else who had internet access and found these lectures either on Haber or on YouTube were studying. A course page has also been created, and the link is now at the bottom. It contains slides for the lectures, assignments, laboratory work, and most of the materials. But to be honest, this is already a somewhat outdated version, because recently, just a little while ago, a methodological guide for this course was finally printed and published, and it will contain the most up-to-date information. Scientific work at the Department of IU9 is conducted in the areas of virtualization and operating systems. And most importantly, students who want to gain more information and get involved in the development of the ReactOS project can immediately access the developers of the ReactOS operating system because the course is led by one of the main developers of this system. There is a social network on our website where students can ask questions live during their course if they are having difficulties or if they want to achieve better results. Here at the bottom of this slide, there is a reference to the methodological guidelines for this course. If anyone is here, I see many representatives of MQT Omnibama. You can try to get it at your disposal. It has been published by the university's publishing house. Here are examples of working programs in the React OS operating system. Naturally, this is not an exhaustive list. I just spontaneously selected certain frames from Acronis Backup. Here, for example, is Blender 2.76, the latest version for Windows XP that can be run on React OS. And here is Photoshop, the well-known seventh version, I believe. For example, ABI Word, OpenOffice, and the archiving program Pizit. In this case, it was chosen because its interface was written in a complex way, and it was the last to be corrected, so that it displayed correctly in the React OS operating system. That is to say, there are a lot of, so to speak, special effects for displaying elements and controls. And it was a tough nut to crack, I would say, which is why it was chosen. Adobe Reader, by the way, turned out to be not the simplest program to ensure its launch. And here is the office. There are a couple more points that I would like to highlight. React OS is mentioned not only in the materials of Moscow State Technical University, but references to resources from other universities are on the internet. Moreover, someone who was interested in studying the structure of Windows wrote a 2,000-page work in Chinese. This book can be downloaded. If you wish, I can even say it's ISBN. The architecture of Windows is analyzed, but the source code of React OS is used as an example. How to talk about a closed product without using its illegal code? One can find its equivalent. In this case, React OS is being used in the opposite direction, it turns out. Not to replace Windows, but to understand how Windows works. By the way, what is also noteworthy is that some of you may have heard about pen testing, of course, and competitions in KTF capture the flag. Several researchers have already published virtual machines for using React OS in such competitions on the internet. That is, as a machine that contains a vulnerability that can be exploited to extract valuable information. 
Another useful link is Alexei Bragin's YouTube channel, where the old version of the course and the new one, which he is gradually uploading now, can be found. All information about the operating system is available on the website reactos.org, which includes a wiki with a lot of information about the project. With that, I am ready to answer your questions. They are asking to toss the orange cube. I really like it here. <laughs> we all love Windows, of course, for being Windows. And I wanted to ask a question that might be a bit of a joke. In fact, it is serious overall. Did you forget to add the blue screen of death? Uh, Did you forget the vulnerability to viruses? Windows will add that as well. As for the blue screen, of course, it exists. Anyone who has tried to use React OS has seen it at least once, if not many times. <laughs> I want to please those who believe in React OS. Blue screens are happening less and less frequently. There are such leaps in the stability of its development. And compatibility with viruses. Compatibility with viruses is partial. The thing is that many viruses exploit vulnerabilities in Windows. And since the source codes are completely different and compiled in different ways, many viruses are not functional on React OS. Understood. But some can still be launched. There are humorous videos on YouTube where toy viruses are launched and you watch what happens whether the OS crashes or not. Thank you. And does it internally replicate the architecture of Windows, meaning the hardware abstraction layer, executive, kernel mode, user mode, and so on? Yes, it basically repeats quite closely. The model is saved. Yes, the model is saved. Initially, when the project started in 1998, there was a lot of debate about how to implement it. There was an idea that internally it should not resemble Windows at all. But then it turned out that many developers use undocumented features. Unfortunately, the applications that use these undocumented features do not work with this approach. Okay, is the security model the same as Windows? Windows NT. Windows. So, it's designed the way Dave Cutler intended, right? This is the kernel, then I see... Yes, one more question. What about compatibility with Windows domains and so on? Uh, let's put it this way, since... I apologize. So, can you, for example, install a domain controller on React OS? Uh, in theory, it will be possible. For now, it is still not possible. Yes, but not yet. My favorite answer about React OS, but let's say, the functionality for working in a domain, or the ability to become a domain controller, is gradually being introduced there. Okay, thank you. Could you please tell me, on the very first slide you mentioned the academy, but what is the age of the students in your academy? And most importantly, I am interested to know if you have robotics there. Uh -huh. I have an application that works for Alt-Linux in robotics. It can also work in Linux and Windows, so I wanted to see if it might work in your React OS. Uh, look, this is primarily additional education for children aged approximately 6 to 16 years, but it is considered a supplementary education, meaning it is like a club. But a college has also recently opened at the top academy, and there are plans to launch a university. Robotics is definitely present, currently mainly using LEGO Mindstorm and other LEGO options, but unfortunately, I do not have the authority to influence the methodological materials at this workplace. But I think if you contact the main office, which is located in Moscow, as indicated on the top academy website, you could propose it to them. Perhaps it would be a worthwhile suggestion. Thank you. Uh, is the bitness currently 32-bit? Uh, for a long time it was only 32-bit, but if we take that version it works quite well. However, for the past two years there has been a 64-bit build that can be run on modern computers. I will continue regarding robotics because, in fact, not only robotics but also some other issues in the school require Windows and they remain unresolved in domestic operating systems based on Linux. For example, VEX Robotics there only works on Windows. Mm -hmm. For instance, the same one you mentioned, LEGO Mindstorm, requires their software to improvise with the blocks. It also doesn't run properly under Vine, but even when I managed to start it, I couldn't achieve normal operation. Does it work for you? Uh, unfortunately, it is currently not possible to run LEGO Mindstorm as it requires Windows 10 level API. However, React OS is now adding support for more modern versions of the Windows API, and it may be possible to solve this problem with the help of React OS. And maybe some collaboration, perhaps we could bring the equipment come to you, and maybe even someone could help program something. Well, in theory, the project is open and collaborative. The only question is how complex, so to speak, the problem will be. That needs to be solved. We are actually thinking of coming to you with such a question. To come specifically with this question, it is too complicated. Can we help with something, for example? I think we need to discuss this separately to understand what you want to achieve and what can already be done. Okay, understood. Thank you very much. So, are there any questions? I liked how he deflected your desire to help. We come to you with a problem and help you solve it. That's it. Help you solving our problem. <laughs> <laughs>
by the way, how is the situation? For 15 years, there are no native drivers, and it still lives in VirtualBox. Perhaps it can control something over the VirtualBox? Because, of course, everyone wants to use React OS as a way to preserve some old programs, some terrible managerial solutions that are inhumane, but at the same time, it seems that other viruses will be launched. <laughs> Firstly, React OS works on real hardware. It can be installed on actual machines. There is a Twitter account where screenshots and technical data of computers that have successfully installed React OS by simply connecting a flash drive or CD are regularly posted. The idea that it only works in VirtualBox has become such a myth about the project. And not just install, but run some tests? Yes, yes, it generally works. Most often the current issue is with sound, meaning not all sound cards are recognized, but the list of supported network cards and sound cards has significantly expanded recently. At the same time, compatibility is increasing specifically with drivers that were written for Windows, meaning they can often be installed successfully. They just work, although sometimes you have to find the right version for now. Unfortunately, reality interferes with our lives. We still have VK Public Group, where we also post screenshots. There is a ReactOS website that has a gallery. The site is not blocked in Russia, it is neutral, and you can admire the pictures. Perhaps there is a need for some kind of service where you can collect information about machines and view it by attributes, because this feels like a Windows approach where you take a screenshot, put it in Word, and zip it again. I mean, certain information is being collected on this topic in our own wiki, with volunteers contributing data, but perhaps in the future there will be some more, so to speak, automated service that will collect more extensive information about functional configurations. Maybe some kind of quest. Perhaps someone will sponsor it. Maybe the Department of Education in Moscow will create a quest. Try to install React OS and send a report there, and we will raffle off an apartment in Moscow. <laughs> How many times will the computer see the new blue screen? I'm worried that they will cause a React OS crash. React OS, yes. The rebranding is so-so. All right, are there any questions? Well, probably then the corridors, right? The corridors, the corridors. Applause, applause. Thank you very much.